Hello, everybody. This is Mr. Kim, and the AP Statistics has released the 2023 free response questions. And I'm here to help you guys just understand and just go over the questions from one through six. Uh, this will be the part one, um, the first question uh, for the FRQ. And uh, let's get started here. Uh, I told the students in my class that you will be more or less guaranteed at least one of these chapter one materials uh, where you're given a, a histogram, box plot, or maybe a dot plot, something of that nature, and be asked to describe the distribution. And that's exactly what we have for part A. If you read this carefully, it says, um, the question where it says that describe the distribution, I, as soon as you see that, you have to automatically think of the acronym SOX, which stands for shape, outlier, center, and spread. So those four things are the main uh, components of describing any sort of distributions and you will be able to get full credits for um, this type of question. So for part A, what we're gonna do is we're gonna regurgitate the context and first say that the distribution of Dissolved oxygen concentration in streams with water temperatures colder than eight degrees Celsius. So literally you are just rewriting this, the distribution of dissolved oxygen concentrated streams with water temperature colder than eight degrees uh, Celsius. So you're just going to copy and paste that and then start with uh, is uh, or has, let's excuse me, has a skewed left distribution. Because if you were to draw sort of a shape at the top, you can see that the tail of this distribution clearly is indicated towards the left-hand side, and the vast majority of the data set is concentrated on the right-hand side. So this would be a skewed left distribution um, with the spread slash variability ranging from this to this. Now, there's no specific values for those histograms. So you actually have to say that it's between two to three milligrams per liter and 13 to 14 milligrams per liter. So ranging from two to three milligrams per liter to 13 to 14 milligrams per liter. So that would be your minimum and the maximum would be from 13 to 14. So essentially what we have done in here is that we have done shape and spread uh, we have to do outlier and center. Now, unfortunate thing is usually at the top, they will some they will sometimes tell you like how many the frequency is in total. They don't tell you that. So you actually have to add up all of these frequencies numbers together. And then that will total amount to, I believe was somewhere between 420 something, but we will use our calculator to do that for us. So here I'm going to pull up our calculator then we're simply just going to add up all of these frequencies uh, together. So on the calculator, let's say, uh, we have one plus one plus one, which is three, plus 13 plus 12 plus 15, 40, 94, 117, 89, and then 46. So you add everything up and you basically get a 429. So 429 in total, and then when you divide that by two, obviously that comes out to be about 214.5, uh, which means we have an odd number and the middle number or the median number for this, which will be in the 215th term. And so that's where we are going to look for um, the median, the center. And when you keep on adding these numbers here, so we have three plus 13 plus 12 plus 15 plus 40. So up to here, we have the 83rd term. Now add that with 94, we have 177 term, which will be um, on the borderline between 10, 11 histogram and then 11 to 12 histogram. So the 215th term, I think it goes on without saying, has to fall somewhere here because you have to go only about 
like like 40 more terms from here, or in this particular case, 38 more terms. And we already have 117 numbers that's between 11 through 12. So somewhere here, like, you know, 38 um, from those 117 has to lie the median. So we say that the center lies between 11 through 12. The center of the distribution um, lies in 11 through 12 milligrams per liter, which is also the peak of the distribution. It also happens that that results in the highest uh, the frequency. And the last thing that we need to talk about is the outliers. So for the outliers, it's clear it's you have to use the 1.5 times IQR uh, just to be sure about the outliers here. But just given the distribution and if they ask you to ever uh, describe it, it's kind of, you know, it's enough said that when you look at the distribution, I mean, this is the one that's really far away from the rest. So we can say there seems to be a potential outlier on the left side of the distribution having two to three milligrams per liter as the oxygen concentration. Uh, that one is clearly far above all the rest. I mean, what about these two up here? Well, there's still part of the distribution. And if we have to call an outlier, again, if you have to pick one, that would be a clear outlier that we could clearly uh, say for distribution. And the last thing that you could po potentially say, I mean, this is not a necessity, but there's a little gap here. And so you can also say there also seems to be a gap between um, three to four milligrams per liter. So it's empty that we have no data points present for that. So that will be a gap. So um, honestly, if you just did socks with shape, outlier center spread, you should have been fine. The gaps and peaks is just the you know icing on the cake and it's just an extra stuff. Um, I'm sure that they will give you full credits as long as you have socks in here. So for part B, now we have a uh, data set for warmer um, temperatures, um, warmer than eight degrees Celsius. And what we wanna do is we wanna draw a uh, box plot for this. And a box plot requires you to use the five number summary, which is indicated for you right there. So I'm just going to go to 2.10. I mean, that's a 0.5, so about one fifth of the way there, that will be my minimum. 4.39, that's closer to being into the, the middle way between four and five. 5.43, again, about this much, very close to 5.5. 6.12, um, that's about here. That's close to being six. And the maximum is 13.45. Now, 13.45 is over here. It says to do not indicate any outliers. If you were to use the 1.5 times IQR rule, subtracting these two and then multiply by 1.5, the last number, which is indicated as maximum, would clearly be an outlier. But since it says do not indicate any outliers, it means that we can just draw the end tails as minimum and maximum and draw no dots for, to indicate the uh, outliers. So I'm just going to connect the middle three as the interquartile range as the box. Draw the whiskers on either end, and that will be my box plot here. Part C, the researchers believe that the streams with higher dissolved oxygen concentration are generally healthier. Which one is going to be healthier for wildlife? So you are trying to decide between part A and part B, the distribution, which one has a higher oxygen concentration because higher oxygen concentration is going to lead healthier to, to healthier wildlife. So which one would it be, warmer or colder? The obvious answer here would be um, uh, the water temperature colder than eight degrees Celsius generally results in higher 
concentration of dissolved oxygen. Why is that? Well, it's literally says to um, use the characteristics of the distribution. So we want to use our answers from part A and part B to answer part C. If you recall, vast majority of the data set for the colder um, water temperature, colder than eight degrees Celsius, was generally around here, you know, somewhere between like nine through 14. And then even though we don't have the entire set of the data for the box plot, we can conclude that the center, which is around 5.43 at the median, and the interquartile range, which consists of about 50% of the data set, that's anywhere between, you know, a good four and a half to about six. And so they are much, much less compared to the colder oxygen concentration. So you can do this in two ways. Number one is to compare the medians. So we're going to compare medians. And then number two is to compare the variability, compare the spread. Because if you compare the spread of the IQR or if uh, the 50% of the data set being resulting in the range from here to there. And that also results in a higher concentration for colder. I mean, that clearly will prove your point. So the first thing we want to say is uh, comparing the center. This is because the center for the colder, um, for the water that is colder, I'm just going to use the full contest for the water temperature colder than eight degrees Celsius is, uh, I think the, yeah, so it was somewhere between 11 to 12, is 11 to 12 milligrams per liter. Whereas, I did, that's my favorite word to just kind of use as a comparison. Whereas for warmer, um, Warmer than eight degrees Celsius was only, or maybe I should use is only, is only about uh, 5.43. They specifically said that that was the median, um, which means higher degree of concentration of oxygen, uh, which leads to a healthier, wild, a healthier wildlife. Furthermore, Um, the interquartile range uh, for the water colder than 8 degrees Celsius was between, and then here is where you have to do just a bit of math. Uh, we found out that we have total of one, 429. And if you take the median, which is 215, and if you cut that in half once again, that will result in 108.107.5, excuse me. And which means we are looking at 108th term to look for uh, the first quartile. When you do the math and by adding all of these up, I believe that the first quartile will result in nine to 10. And the third quartile, which is 108th term from the right-hand side, which will be resulted in the 12 to 13 here. Oh, excuse me. It's not um, 9 to 10. It should be from 10 to 11. Because adding all of these numbers up from 1, 1, 1, 13, 12, 15, and 40, that doesn't uh, give you 108 terms. So that's first quartile, and this is the third quartile. And even the first and third quartile, which is the 25th percentile and the 75th percentile, only like it just gives you such a higher concentration compared to the warmer. So, um, was between uh, 10 to 11 milligrams per liter to 12 to 13 milligrams per liter. Whereas, once again, the, the first and third quartile for warmer than eight degrees Celsius was from uh, 4.39 to 6.12. The 25th and the 75th 
percentile respectively for holder water was significantly higher than those of warmer water okay so you can see, so these two numbers are significantly higher than those two numbers that's what this means and so you are basically saying that not only does the center higher but also the spread of iqr is higher therefore um, the oxygen concentration for water colder than was significantly higher in center as well as its um, first and third quartile. which we which will um gener generally result in healthier wildlife the last sentence is just kind of like a summarization it just kind of wraps it up wraps it whole up so i mean you could condense this a lot but you know the more context you put in the better your chances are of getting a 4 uh so you can compare it in any other direction, but I believe that median has to be mentioned. Um, another supporting statement could be mentioned. I mean, there it's a it's a distribution, so there's so many things that you could talk about. Uh, I think the spread of the IQR Q1, Q3, and the median because they're relative percentiles, and you can make fair comparisons to that. And the numbers are just so much higher and in greater. Uh, for colder water. So that's the idea that you want to say for this first question. Hope this helps. And I on the next video, I'll go over number two of 2023.